<coughs> I was just clearing my throat. <laughs> Microsoft. Well, well, well. Reviewing changes in Windows to comply with a Digital Markets Act in the European Economic Area. That doesn't mean the entire European Union. Okay, just uh, Google search rich European countries. You'll get it. Anyway, so what's happening here is let me read you something I highlighted. <laughs> and we know that to be true. All apps in Windows can be uninstalled. Of course. Of course. They, you can uninstall Cortana. You can uninstall Edge. You can in, uninstall widgets. You can do all that. And if you hit update, they will no longer be reinstalled by themselves, including Game Bar and Xbox and all the good stuff. <laughs> No, no, that's actually not true at all, except for the European Union or whatever they call that stuff, are forcing Windows not to comply with a new rule that if the user cannot remove an app or a widget or whatever the hell they want, you don't operate here. It's that simple. It is very, very simple simple so now let me go just uh, really quick here all apps in windows can be uninstalled of course apps can always be installed again so you know, just if you want cortana to, through the microsoft store and internet internet meaning anything aol probably and yahoo search <laughs> And show the apps installed on PC, and we've added the ability to uninstall. Whoa! That is some breakthrough stuff. I never thought that in a computer, you would be able to uninstall stuff like camera, Cortana, Bing, <laughs> Edge, photos, you know, stuff that we use daily. Wow, you could uninstall those? I thought those were just kind of soldered in there. Anyway, <laughs> interoperability with Windows features. Now we'll skip a few lines here because it's too much talk and I may bore you with that stuff, but feeds in the Windows vi widgets board. Yeah, Windows widgets <laughs> became from Europe now. Web search and Windows search. I guess that would be something, right? Well, what that means is that you don't need to just get the feeds that are given to you or fed to you by force. You can now turn on and off things. You actually have <laughs> access to the apps, uh, Windows app SDK. That is interesting. And the other one that was very interesting because it was extremely, extremely painful clicking that start button. And if you search something, which I never use search for search in the web, but somehow some of you have Windows 11, and I refuse to have Windows 11. It's intellectually assaulting to me using Windows 11. But as you noticed, and you know, on Windows 11, if you search, you can only get searches from Bing and Edge. And we know that not all the search engines are the same. There's just no chance. But now to, <laughs> to comply with the EEA or what it means, European Economic Area, what a name. Now you can switch that. You don't just uh, get search provided from Bing or Edge or whatever. You can now go to settings and switch that, for example, to Brave or switch your search engine to Yandex or whatever. Whatever search you like. That is beautiful. And I know, I know what you're thinking. Once it comes out, we are going to snatch copies of that to install in the United States. And I support you on that. Anyway, so when will this roll out? Well, it seems that it's going to be by March 6th. This March. Yes, this March. That you can throw a rock in March from now, which is only January or something like that. The interesting is, part is that these features were built in for everybody, except now for the European economic area, that they will get a premium Windows or what we have been trying to do in the shaved up versions of Windows and making it Windows Lite and getting a lot of trackers and viruses and stuff, you know, alongside with Tiny11 and Tiny10 and Tiny50 and whatever there are. Now in Europe, they're so privileged. They actually get a clean Windows. Wow. Wow. Windows one step forward from becoming Linux. <laughs> new stuff. Completely new things that nobody has ever thought of 
be impossible technologically, scientifically, and humanly. It's just how, how could you possibly think of an app being uninstalled? That's just, no, that's impossible. We never uninstall apps. What are you talking about? There are app, apps. What? Let me go to my programs. Let me just check my apps, for example. There is no way. Apps are not meant to be uninstalled. That's just how it works, right? Because all these apps here that I have, for example, are installed forever. They are not removable. These are just things that you keep forever. For example, Microsoft Edge. Look, oh, 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 okay, so I cannot install it. <laughs> Microsoft Photos, okay, that's nice. So you see, we can do a lot with our Windows. <laughs> that Guys, I, I just had to make this video and kind of laugh a little bit, but I cannot install Paint and Paint 3D. That's, that's, that's something. As you see, there's something. <laughs> But seriously, the point and the matter here is that it is possible for Windows to actually get clean and become clean and offer an enjoyful and enjoyable web system or operating system, but they just don't want to. It's just until you force them, then they will do something. Yeah, I'm using Windows 10 here, and as I said, I will not. Window install Windows 11. It's just no, 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 no. Mentally, it's incompatible with me. Personally, I'm not talk. I'm not saying that. Oh, you're a bad person for installing Windows 11. I I hope you're enjoying it. I hear good words from some people that would describe their computer as HP blue with a charger, and I have to go through that trying to troubleshoot it. <laughs> But other than that, I haven't heard good words. I tried it twice. Believe me, I tried twice to use Windows 11 and just, just there's no chance. I cannot. It's it's woo, mentally challenging for me to use Windows 11. But this video is not about me crapping on Windows 11. It's about me just seeing that, yeah, Microsoft has the option and the chance and the knowledge and the resources to actually provide a clean Microsoft operating system for all, they just refuse to because they think that somehow by forcing me to have Cortana and Edge, I will use them. I'm only two clicks away from installing stuff from Ninite. In case you don't know what Ninite is, it's this thing here, Ninite.com. Then you can just select whatever you want from here and you can get your Ninite and it will install whatever you selected, boom, automatically. And it's actually clean. That's that's how it's done. At least that's what I do every time I put a new operating system. I just go here, put a few basic things, bum bum bum, and I'm good to go. Last time I used Edge, probably when they launched the Chat GPT stuff, I just wanted to try it. Damn, I'm not really mesmerized with the AI stuff yet. Yet it feels just Google search, kind of refined and polished. But besides that, yes, for all the operating systems, it is possible to have a de-bloated system. It is possible. Only it takes a few European countries to put the thumb down and make you have a USB-C. <coughs> Not saying anything else. But yeah, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I wish you a very happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year 2024 to you and your beautiful families, and thank you for all your support this entire time, for any second you ever spend on this channel. It is never taken for granted. And for now, like and subscribe, and bye!